Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've got a uh, film review. It's a film I watched the other night, I thought I'd give it a go, uh, review my film review opinion. That film in question is The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Now, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 was released in April of 2014, so it's a pretty new film. It is the sequel to uh, the reboot, with pretty much the same name, The Amazing Spider-Man. The cast is kind of the same as well. It's got Andrew Garfield, who reprises his role as Spider-Man. Uh, Peter Parker. You've also got Emma Stone who is Spider-Man's love interest who is of course Gwen Stacy. You've got Sally Field who comes back as Aunt May and in uh, new additions to the film in Amazing Spider-Man 2 you've got Jamie Foxx who plays Electro and his gooder side, Max Dillon. You've also got Paul Giamatti who plays Alexei Sintevich who is uh, Rhino and uh, also you've got Dane DeHaan who plays Harry Osborn and the Green Goblin. So the film, like I say, it picks up from where the uh, Amazing Spider-Man left off. It's got Peter Parker who's deeply in love with Gwen Stacy. Uh, it's the love of his life and all that. Um, however, he does keep having flashbacks of how Gwen Stacy's dad died. Throughout the early stages of uh, the film, You've got Captain Stacy who's constantly there on the shadow of uh, Peter Parker saying leave my daughter alone and all that. I did notice that there is a big sort of break up love story to do with the film which is understandable. Um, the twist in the film did represent why there is a love, uh, big love theme in the film. The storyline of the film is that Harry Osborn comes back to uh, New York to see his dad on his deathbed, his dad dying. Harry Osborn wants Spider-Man's blood for Oscorp to try and uh, cure his illness which is hereditary. Uh, obviously we know who Spider-Man is, Harry Osborn does not know who Spider-Man is, so uh, Harry Osborn is deeply trying to track down Spider-Man. He knows that Peter Parker takes pictures of him, so he's kind of uh, poking at Peter Parker to uh, get his mate Spider-Man to donate some of his blood. So that's like one side of the story. The other side of the story you've got a guy called Max Dillon who is played by uh, Jamie Foxx. Now Jamie Foxx works at Oscorp. He is a bit of a special guy. He is a smart guy. He knows what he's talking about. He's designed the electric power grid that's meant to power, power the city that he lives in uh, that is inhabited by Spider-Man. So, he's a pretty switched on sort of guy, he knows what he's talking about. However, he, Max Dillon is a bit of a loner, he doesn't have many friends. Um, Spider-Man saved him pretty early on in the film. Yeah, Max Dillon, Jamie Foxx, Electro, kind of gets a bit hung up that Spider-Man's his best mate and all this. And uh, in one scene, he's actually talking to himself how Spider-Man got him a cake and all that. He's got pictures of Spider-Man all over his wall. And, to be honest, Electro, Max Dillon, Jamie Foxx, he seems to be a bit of a stalker, a bit of a creepy, obsessed Spider-Man sort of fanatic. Whether that comes across in the comic books, I guess it does, because they're more portrayed on the uh, on the cinema in these latest films. I've never been a fan, really, of Jamie Foxx. You know, he's, he's alright, I guess, but if uh, somebody else did Electro, I think it would... Uh, it would still be a good film. There is a massive twist in the story. There are seem to be uh, two stories run alongside. There's a whole blood helping Harry Osborn find a cure because he thinks that Spider-Man's blood is pure enough to uh, cure him. You've also got Max Dillon obsessed with Spider-Man and uh, how he thinks that Spider-Man has betrayed him. And there's also the love story of uh, Gwen Stacy, Peter Parker and uh, that going on. Like I said, there was uh, a massive twist in the story. I didn't know about it. A few people I know who had seen it and knew what happens in the comics, they told me about the twist in the story. I am a fan of Spider-Man and uh, most things Marvel, so it was pretty cool to watch. Uh, I'd seen the first film, uh, The Amazing Spider-Man. I'd even seen the originals with Tobey Maguire. Um, so yeah, Amazing Spider-Man 2 was pretty much on my list of films to watch. If you are a fan of uh, anything Spider-Man, especially the latest ones with uh, Andrew Garfield in, then this one's definitely for you. If you're a fan of Emma Stone, Jamie Foxx, 
Um, Paul Giamatti, Dean Dehan as well, if you're a fan of any of them guys, even Sally Fields, uh, then Amazing Spider-Man 2 is definitely one for you. So thanks for watching my review of the Amazing Spider-Man 2. Also guys, we the Devoted, check the links out down below. Use Toby WTD gets you 20% off any We The Devoted gear, links down below as well. guys, thanks for watching my review of The Amazing Spider-Man 2. If you're a fan of anything that uh, has the title Amazing and Spider-Man in, then uh, you'll probably like this one.